What's up everyone? Welcome to your 30 minute body weight sports cardio workout. Grab some water and let's get started. What's up everyone? Welcome to your workout today. We've got 30 minutes and we've got a sports themed cardio but no sports experience necessary. We're just gonna be moving side to side, up and down, rotating a little bit with the idea of a sports theme when I tell you what we're doing but you don't have to have any previous experience. You just have to show up and be ready to move. So grab some water, grab a sweat towel and if any time I'll show you a movement, you wanna dial it back, just take a little bit of the impact out by keeping it on the ground for something like a slide or a hop. You can just come up to full extent Okay, make this work out your own. Let's have fun with it. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Make sure you've got space around you and let's get started. Two, one, here we go. Great job, big open chest. Three, two, and one, heels to glutes and pull. Good job. Warm up today is gonna go upper body, lower body, just getting some blood flowing. Three, two, one, big backward circles. Good work, grab onto one foot, pull and switch. Great job, very proud of you for showing up today. Very thankful that you took this time for yourself. Just in case you're interested in the sports kind of initiative today, okay? Arms up over and back. We're gonna go basketball, soccer, volleyball, softball or baseball, track, and then a cross country ski move to close it out. Track and field, I should say. Good, down to the bottom again. Let's go bent leg, straight leg. 30 second work periods, and we'll take it one sport at a time. So two or three exercises in a circuit. Good, three, two, and one. Good work, all right, pull the wrist back or the fingers back towards the wrist. For the most part, We'll be standing, just moving up and down, around, laterally. Good job. But since we're moving our arms so much, just get those warmed up, ears to shoulders. Great job. All right, come on back. High kicks for the hamstrings. Good, almost there, one more each leg. Boom, and other side, good. Put it down, reach and squeeze. We'll get started in about 20 seconds with basketball up first. Good job, last one. All right, we've got a lateral slide and jump shot. So you're gonna take it over Reach up, you can just do a hands up if you don't wanna do the shoot. All right, so let's go. Two, one, here we go. Low impact, step, and come onto your toes. Thirteen, good job. Last shot, two, one, good. Next one, rebound and pivot. So you're gonna grab that ball, bring it here, step back, step forward. Up, grab, step, okay? We go in four, two, one. Good. If you're using the sports metaphor, this is you grabbing a ball, getting ready to pass it. Down the court to your teammate. 15, good, reach, pull to your chest. Nice and strong. 
One more, three, two, one, good. Last one, layups. Step with a knee drive. So you're gonna step, drive up, step back and switch. Okay, opposites, okay. Three, two, one, here we go. Step, drive it up. Low impact, boom. Just give me a punch, knee drive. Good job, 13. Last one, two, one. All right, grab water if you need it. We're back to the top. Slide and jump shot. All right, here we go, we're warming up. Three, two, one, let's go. Good job. Ten. Three. Last shot. Two. One. Good. Rebound and pivot. When you come down, I want you to have elbows out, balls right here. Okay? Opening up. Here we go, four, three, two, grab it up. Good, pull down, secure. Fifteen. One more, two, one, rest, all right. Layups, round two. <clears throat> all right, step, knee drive, opposite arm. Three, two, let's go. Good. Nice. Up, up, up. Nine, eight. Two, one. Yes, all right. Last round through basketball. You ready? Shot should be really good this time. Three rounds of warm up. Let's go, five. Slide and shoot. Three, two, come on. Fifteen. Eight, seven. Last couple shots, three, two, one. Yes, buzzer beater made it. Now we got rebounding and warm up layups to go. So I'm kind of taking this little game out of order. <laughs> All right, here we go. Reach up, grab, pivot, three, Two, come on. Good job, come on, come on, 15. Two, last one, and rest, good. All right, layups to close out our game here of basketball. Then we'll move on to some soccer or North American football. Three, two, come on up. Good, give me some height, give me some power.
15. Last one, come on, game winning fast break. Three, two, one. 30 seconds to rest, great job. Jog in place if you would like. All right, you can give me your towel, your water bottle, or just kind of like an identifying spot <sighs> on your mat. We've got toe taps, so just some ball handling here for soccer. All right, you're going around, working your arms. Okay, we'll go in 10, 30 seconds of work. Let's go, two, one, come on, tap, tap, tap. Good, light on your toes, make sure you're not leaning back, right here in front, you're agile, okay? 10, nine, good job. Four, three, two, one, good, rest. All right, lateral cone agility. So you're in the middle, side, middle, side, okay? Same thing, just some footwork drills. Five seconds. Feel free to go over your towel or just go left, middle, right. Let's go. Over, over. Good, now make sure you're not holding your arms here. We're here. We're crossing hard like this. We're right past your body. Like you're putting your hand in your pocket, okay? Five. Two, one, rest. 15 seconds rest. You're going front kicks. I know this is not how you kick a soccer ball, but for the cardio component of this workout, knee heel, knee heel, okay? I don't necessarily want you launching like this. So just go right here. Two, one, let's go. Good, 15. Same thing, keep your arms moving beside your body, not across, but not right here. And rest. All right, two more rounds of those three. Ball handling, agility, and kicking. Six, if you wanna go a little bit higher, you could always aim for something like a dumbbell, a water bottle, or a ledge. Let's go. Fifteen. Light on your feet, quick, quick, quick. The quicker you move your arms, the quicker your legs will go. Three. Two, one, good. Whew. Nice work. 10 seconds, agility up and down the mat. Five, we're going right here. Three, two, one, let's go. Good, work the arms. Remember, pockets. 14. Three, down and back. Two, one, rest. Back to your alternating front kicks, good job. Whew. We're just bringing it up and forward, okay? Big deep breath. Here we go, three, two, one. Good. Light on your toes here. That's the theme of the sports workout. You're moving different directions, but in all sports, you're agile. You're able to switch directions quickly. You're not planted on the ground, feeling heavy. Three, two, one, 
breathe. One more round through, okay? Just want you kind of light on your feet the whole workout. All right, we do have those days where all of our legs feel like concrete, but as for today, just keep it here. Last round of toe taps. Two, one, come on. And then we're moving on to some volleyball. Fourteen, thirteen. Four, two, one. Walk it down to the end of your mat. Lateral agility. All right, try to keep this one center of gravity a little bit lower so you can move a little bit quicker. Light on your feet, arms move. Three, two, one. Good. Let your hips float back just a little bit. You're in an athletic position, not up top here, okay? Here. There we go. Good. Six, five seconds. Can you go down and back twice? Two, one, rest. Good. All right. Alternating front kicks, and we're moving on from this sport to volleyball. Here we go. Light on your feet, remember? Three, two, go. Fifteen. Four more kicks, come on, three, two, one. 30 seconds rest. Great job, we're on to volleyball. Whew. All right, sidestep and dig. So you're receiving the ball over the net, your team is, okay? Going down, reach, middle, reach, okay? I want your shoulders angled towards me. Low, reach, low, reach. Ready? Four, three, two, one. Come on, right here and right here. Just make sure you're not going here or here, okay? Point it back to the middle, that way your core is in control. And then scoop those arms up. Make sure the ball hits you right here. 15, good job. 2 1 rest now you're on defense again blocking all right so you're going to block step to the side block it towards the middle side block towards the middle okay here we go 3 2 1 turning inward just a bit step to the side jump turn to face the middle Fifteen. Five. Two, last block. Rest. All right. A lot of leg involved in this one. All right, back in the middle. Step, dig, let's go. Four, two, one, we're here, boom, boom. Good, you wanna make this a little bit more intense? Feel free to get low, quick, low, quick, low, quick. There we go. 10. Shoulders point to me, good, two, one, rest. 15 seconds, this will close out round two. Why are we blocking towards the middle? An actual volleyball game. If you block this way, the ball's going out of bounds, it touched you last. Want to block it to the middle, so 
so our team has a chance to get it, make a play out of it. Ready? Let's go. Good job. Fifteen. Seven. Last one, two, one, rest. Last round, volleyball. Whew. Good job. Sometimes the visuals just help to make this a little bit more realistic, a little more fun, right? All right, let's take it out. Two, one, come on. Good. You don't need to swing your arms up, just get under it. 15. 3, 2, 1. Rest for 15. And we're blocking. Last set of volleyball moves. Whew. Then we have softball track and field, and cross country skiing. Two, one, come on. Keep it up, come on, light on your feet, remember? There you go, you got eight, seven, Three, two, one, and breathe. Another sport down. Whew. All right. We're moving on. Three sports in this one, okay? Softball or baseball, track and field, cross country. Just watch me if you don't care about the sports at all. Okay, first one, taking adjust your arms here or here. Pull across your chest, okay? I know this isn't literal, but we're going here, okay? 10 seconds. If you can figure out a way to kind of make this realistic, let's do it. Four, three, two, let's go. So think of a wood chopper, kind of reverse. And you can stay on the ground if you want. You don't have to add the hop. Good job, seven, six, two, one, rest. Good, now we move on, track and field. Touchdown, sprint. Okay, so the same side for the whole 30. Touch down inside your opposite toe. Bring that back knee up and sprint. One, two, three, four, five. Ready? Let's go. Touch down. Five, four, three, two, one. Touch down. Good. Track start. Right on into a sprint. Ten. Four. Two, one, cross country skiing, last one. Coming up full extension, pull down outside your legs. If you can hop, you're here. If you're not hopping, here, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. Good job, come on. Again, not literal. I know you're not gonna ski like this. Just give me a simulation and let's get our heart rate up. Three, two, and one, rest. We're back to the top, okay? You swung this way to the right side. Now we're gonna go the other way, okay? Four, three, two, 
One, let's go. Whatever this needs to look like for you, just rotate. It can be tall to low, straight across. Fifteen, good. Almost there, five, four, two, one, rest, good. All right, track start. So last round, right leg was out front. Now I'm gonna switch that, okay? Touch down, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go in four, three, two, one. Come on, touch, five. Fifteen. Two, one, breathe. Great job. Whew. All right, cross country skiing. Here we go, three, two, one, reach, pull. Great job, let's move, come on. Last 10. Three, two, one, rest. We've got one more round of all three. Whew. You're almost there. All right, this one you're gonna take it cross, cross. Keep your hands right here. Two, one, let's go. If you can take it here, that's fine. You need to keep your toes on the ground. That's fine. Twist, twist. You can also just go right here. I just want the rotation, just like a swing, okay? Good job. Six, five, two, one, rest. Good. All right, track starts. You can do alternating, every other one you switch legs, or 15 seconds with the left out front, then switch, okay? Here we go, three, two, one, let's go, come on. Good, 15. Four, three, two, one. All right, we're moving on. Cross country skiing. Yeah, great job. And then we're gonna go with a cool down lap all together, okay? Here we go, three, two, 30 seconds, here we go, pull. Now I want you to punch back up quicker this time than staying back here for a lot. Punch, pull, punch, pull, punch. There you go. Good, 15, come on, pull, punch, pull. Eight, good. Four, two, one, and breathe. Come into a light jog with me. Forwards and backwards. You've got your cool down lap. You just finished running your race, cooling it down. All right, we move into it. Cool down right after this, so you haven't made it to the cool down yet. <sighs> cool down lap, slow your breathing. Good. Five seconds, you just went all out. Get your body back to normal. Two, one, you've made it to your cool down. Great job, nice wide stance here. Shift your hips side to side, and they're going straight out over the arch of your foot. 
not forward or backwards, right to the side. Share this workout with any athletes that you know that are maybe on their spring break, maybe they're in their off season, or anyone that you know has been an athlete, anyone that enjoys cardio, just a little 30 minute burst, right? Forward push on your hips, open your hips up, make sure, especially if you're an athlete, hips are open, okay? I was a division one high jumper, all of my power came from this movement, okay? And then this full extension of my hip. So, athletes, make sure hips are loose, all right? Cross your arms over your chest. Don't neglect your mobility. Don't neglect your nutrition. The way that you perform is the way that you practice and live every single day leading up to that race, that meet, that match, that game. Every day is kind of like preseason training. Every day is kind of like practice. You just keep getting a little bit better each day. It doesn't all happen today. It doesn't all happen overnight. But every day you show up and you give your best and that is what compounds. Your next best, your next best, your next best. And then you've got a string of seven days where you went really hard versus if you went a couple days hard and then like eased off a little bit, you're kind of restarting constantly, keeping yourself at the same level you are now. And I want you to perform and feel better constantly, okay? Heel to glute. When I was an athlete, division one athlete, there was so much focus on recovery. There was so much focus on maximizing the training time that we had, not extending the hours and the minutes out, but maximizing our effort, getting in, getting out, and starting our recovery, okay? Work hard here. Don't extend this out into another two or three hours of working out. Focus on what's your main goal, all right? You can be very efficient and very effective in workouts like this if you show up and you go hard. And don't forget your recovery, your nutrition, all of this helps you show up and work just as hard. And in the time that we're working hard, you're building to work just as hard the next day. And as soon as we're done, we start recovering. So we can show back up, not depleted, not sore, not worn out, but to our best ability. And then we string a week of our best ability workouts together and we're compounding on that, okay? We're not showing up mediocre all the time. You show up and give your best and focus hard on recovery, okay? Get enough protein in, get enough sleep, or try your best, hydrate, and eat in a way that says, I care about how I feel, how I perform, okay? I want you to feel amazing, and I know that that strength is inside of you. It's just my job to pull it out. So I'll see you back here for our next workout. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Share this workout with all your friends and your athlete friends especially, and I'll see you for our next one.